Hello everyone, welcome to the Jcast Network. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. Tonight, we celebrate the second night of Hanukkah. Light with us. Asher Kiddishan of Totab, Vitivane Leichner, Shell Hanuka, Barahata Donai, Elohein Melacholam, Shasani Sim Labatenu, Bayamim, Ahem, Bazman, Aze. Hanukkah is a time for friends and family to come together and celebrate. We had the opportunity to attend Chabad's Hanukkah on Ice, starring the Maccabees. The Maccabees are a Jewish a cappella group which rose to fame last year for their song Candlelight. Over 6 million hits on YouTube. Jews and non Jews alike love this group. Let's get closer look. So your songs have touched many lives, and uh, you said something really powerful on stage tonight about how with great acapella comes great responsibility. And um, what are you hoping your songs will um, will do for the Jewish community and for others? Um, I, I, the, the, the buzzword that I like to use to describe what we do is Jewish pride. Is that we are we're not afraid to show our true colors while also being engaged in the world. So it's our hope again, just like I said on stage, those, those emails that we get that you know people are now for the first time no longer embarrassed to say that they're Jewish. 
it's our hope that our, our songs will bring that sense of Jewish pride and, and excitement in the Jewish experience um, to, uh, to a broader audience. Now, you've traveled all over. Yeah. Which place did you love the most? Or which, 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 which was out of the way? I, I hate to say this on this soil, but right. my favorite city so far was, uh, was Ottawa. Ottawa. Ottawa is a beautiful city. Um, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have an open invitation to meet the Prime Minister next time we go back. It's really <laughs> cool. But in February we're going to New Zealand, but um, I guess uh, spiritually now that comes close to the land of Israel. Where we, we performed twice, once in the Knesset. Um, we had a really amazing opportunity. And how do you pick the songs? Now like, everyone goes through their own it's a like... It's grueling process. Yeah. Grueling process. Basically, we sit in a room, we yell at each other till the last band standing and gets, gets his choice. And, you know, Candlelight is now one of those, like, viral videos like, that are played in, in schools, who are singing them. Did you expect that type of reaction? Personally, I always knew I was going to be famous. I just never was sure how. You know, uh, we, were, we were dumped out. I remember the first, the first Saturday night, we turned on our computers after Shabbat. And we um, we checked. We put it up that Friday morning. We checked to see how many hits it had, and we thought that we had a big time because we had 2,000 hits. And uh, by the next Shabbat, we had over a million. So again, things just spiraled out of anything we could ever possibly imagine. And now you see a lot of groups trying to do what you did. What do you think about that? I think it's great. I mean, we we we, we always encourage more music. Um, and uh, you know, though we recognize that the perfect storm of factors that led to what happened with us may not you know, be recreatable. If it does, you know, somebody else is successful and you know, is able to spread the same messages that we are. We're well, very happy for them. And what's your next venture? Next venture. Well, we're we're finally setting de settling out. So this month, December is our tour month. We have over 25 shows this month for obvious reasons. And then after December, we're settling down, and for the first time in two years, we're going to be working out a CD. Um, it's something we put on the back burner for way too long now. As you can see, the Maccabees are a fantastic group that have inspired Jews and Gentiles alike. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching.